All right, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Um, last time we left off, we helped defend the Redcliffe village. And after that, we decided, well, Bantigan decided it would be a good time to enter the castle to, you know, free the castle. And he's gone ahead with his uh, sister-in-law, Isolde, and asked us to sneak in through a hidden entrance or exit if you will <coughs> so that is where we are right now Either this is a trap the defenders of this castle are idiots I suspect both <laughs> Sten it's been overrun by monsters can you expect the monsters to really think about that All right. it's a trap okay um what have we got here? We got someone screaming get away from me, a lot of corpses, let's just go on. Full on attack. Hmm. Enraged corpse. Now they sound a, as weird as it may seem, they sound a bit harder than a shambling corpse. Boom, there we go. Oh! I don't know why I actually clicked on the shambling cops, I've still got to finish off this merged core! There we go, now we can help finish off this other merged core! And there we go. Hello? Oh, hey, oh! Is there someone out there? Who is it? By all that's holy you! I can't believe it! <laughs> Jowin! No way! Maker's breath! How did you get here? <laughs> I never thought I'd see you again of all people! Wow! So you're the maid lady I sort of mentioned. You've spoken with her? Then you know I poisoned Arleman. For all I know he's already dead. Hmm. He's not dead. At least not yet. He's not? That's a relief. I can't tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Oh dear. <clears throat> Should have known better, Joan. Uh, Chantry sent her away. I don't know where. Oh, uh, you don't deserve to know. <sighs> Lily knew she, she, uh, Lily knew what she was doing. But she didn't know about me. I should have told her. I should have... Oh, please, please, just tell me if she's all right. Hmm... The Chantry sent her away. I don't know where. Oh, my poor Lily. She must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? Are you responsible for what happened here? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Hmm. Why did you poison our Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelda. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Hmm. Why did you listen to Terlogain of all people? Why wouldn't I? 
I was desperate, and this is Terran Loghain we're talking about for Andraste's sake. Why wouldn't I believe him? So the Terran hired you to poison our even. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I see. I think I understand. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. So what do you intend now? Oh, everyone makes mistakes. No. Mistakes like mine? I've just messed everything up my entire life. I've made such bad decisions. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. I helped you once in the name of friendship. And I betrayed you. Really. <laughs> I'm sorry. So sorry. Please, I'm begging you. Won't you help me try and do one thing right in my life? I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. Hmm. So how will you make this right? I... well, I'd try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. A part of me knew right from the beginning that I'd have to face the consequences one day. I knew I'd be caught, eventually. Everything I've done has just delayed the inevitable. I'm done with running and hiding. I need to account for what I've done. Hmm. If I were to just let you go? I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. That's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Hmm. I'm letting out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? You come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. <coughs> I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Beggars can't be choosers. Come on, stay here. And I will wait. If you change your mind, I will be here. Well, at least on the upside he's safe in there. And you can always cast spells to uh, kill anything that comes in. <coughs> I think the demon will be more interested in us. Anyway, let's move on. Alright, so we've got shambling corpse. Have we got anything? Oh, we have a shambling corpse on the other side of there. Uh, okay, so... Alistair, go after this one. Stern. Go after... What is it? Ah, it's on the other side of that wall. Let's just uh, quickly zoom in. And there it is. Um... We'll attack this one here, and you, and 
Morrigan, I suppose. Oh no, Doggy! I forgot about Doggy. <laughs> I always forget about Doggy. Um, you go for that one. Just make sure I get stem on the right one. And you and you are going to have to just come down here and target whoever you want. Yeah. At your command. Oh. That's that down. Let's see how Stan's doing. Ooh. So apparently Morgan's being attacked. And none of us picked up on this. No, not that one. Yeah, that one. We need to heal Morrigan. No! Morrigan, you do have Mind Blast. You are quite aware of this, right? Use it. There we go. Threat dealt with. Right, let's have a look around, shall we? So there's a knot down there on the floor. Ooh! Um. Have a look here. What else we got? Shambling corpse. Let's loot these guys. As you wish. Pile of filth. Oh, I was hoping for help, but oh, silver ring there. Gives one to willpower plus ten mental resistance. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um. Okay. Well. We've got people to level up, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you can have a boost to a two to magic and one to willpower. We'll give you the silver ring, which will give you a nice little tiny buff. We have a um, specialization to go in. Shape changer. We don't really want shape changer, do we? So uh, we'll ignore that. <coughs> There's one I do want for um, Dalen anyway. So uh, now I think I'll go for tactics this time. Tactics are kind of getting essential for me now. Um, let's have a look here. What do we want? What I really do want is um, Crushing Prison, but I don't think I can... I think I need 32 or something like that. Oh no, I can get it! Yes! Crushing Prison is a very useful spell. So, uh, I'm happy with that. So let me just... Um, wrong button. I'm still sadly used to playing DA2. Am I? Why am I selecting you, Zalister? I don't want to... There one. There we go. So we have two more slots now. Um, so what we do want to do is... Um, enemy... Has any buff? No mana, stamina, any? No. Has armor type, rank. Um, target range, using attack type. Uh, 
how to get enemy type cost of nearest visible uh, nearest visible class of course so we uh, um, we want a nearest visible mage would be very useful because if we crush in prison mages it makes them quite useless um activate right now usability where are you where are you crushing prison there we go and as well as enemy um Uh, has buff no stone on no armor type no rank we'll go for rank and rank is boss rank is elite and boss rank is normal or lower no we want normal or higher really there we go so that's Dale and the uh, deck type who else needs leveling up? Sten, at last. Um, I really want to put some points into constitution for Sten. I'll, I'll put two into strength. So we can hit hard. <laughs> um, let's have a look here. We want some more abilities for him to use because basically he's got very basic abilities really. Out of the box, isn't it? Um, let's see. What does this do? Um, shattering blows. Ooh. So the character is adept at dis uh, destruction. There we go. We'll just do that one. Now I think Ben's. Um, Tactics I've set to so it fills out itself. I think, yeah, he's aggressive scrapper, so he'll handle his own. Alistair is a aggressive defender. <laughs> yeah, that makes logical sense. Shut up. So we finally got a very a full. <laughs> Let me just get my words ready. Do we need this anymore? What is this? Litany of a drawer. We don't need that anymore. So we can uh, just let's move that off. Put you there. We can't use a litany anymore, so. Right, anyway. Let us proceed and we'll hopefully be able to demonstrate the very usefulness of crushing prison there we go here's hoping anyway right so we've got only one door to choose from by the looks of it that's, that's the way back yep so we've only got this door to choose from I think Alistair as always should go first very well Now, if I'm correct, if we go that way, I'm going to say, if we go that way, we get attacked by shaman and corpses, but I do believe there's some shade in that room, so we don't really want to go any further than the end of this corridor. So let's just, uh, let's move over here, and I really want to demonstrate this spell, so, uh, select it and then look for a decent target there really isn't I'll just do it on that guy Um. 
Alright, fight's over. <coughs> One thing I do want to just quickly do is use that silver ring. Um, I'm not sure if it'd be better on Morrigan or myself. Shiver, that gives us cold resistance, but I'd rather keep the Warden's off on. That gives us fire resistance and... Ooh! Healing effects, that's very good. Um, silver ring, we can put it on. It doesn't do anything, apparently. I'm, I'm pretty sure it said uh, plus to willpower, didn't it? Oh, we'll, we'll pop it down there, see what... No, apparently it doesn't do anything. <coughs> I think this would be helpful on Sten. Uh, give him a little bit of boost when we heal him. Um, this will give to Alistair. Plus 5% fire resistance, plus 5% cold resistance, plus 1 armor. And shiver. Minus, uh, plus 20% cold resistance. Morgan already has a necklace. The wild stone. One will power of 10% mental resistance. Dalen has one. You have an amulet. Okay, so it's just, just Sten. There you go, Sten. Have an amulet. Give you a little bit of cold resistance. Okay. So let us move on. Let's open this door. Yep, of course we can. Right, so the room to our right here is the same one that we're getting through down there, so we're going to have to prepare for fighting shades. Oh, of course, after we fight some shambling corpses. Tell you what, this is a good time to pick and choose targets. No, we can't. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a good time to pick and choose targets, but uh, apparently we need to wait for that spell to recharge. Okay, so Alistair's health's quite low. Dylan, what are you doing? Oh, so stems actually. Oh well, let's just do that. And then he'll stand as well. There we go. Jobs are good. Let's heal up a little bit, let Dalen's spell recharge. And we need to think about fighting the shades, if I'm honest. That should be our next goal. I just realise I'm talking completely opposite direction to my mic. I'm hoping it's picking all this up. <laughs> The mic's kind of pointing slightly towards my window, and I'm I'm facing the other way, sort of. All right, okay, okay. So it's recharged. Like, let's go for it. What have we got in here? So we have a great shade there at the back. Um, of course, some creatures can resist this spell, so. Which one should I go for? There's two lesser shades. One, we'll go for the greater. See if this works. It did work, of course. what's going on here, I'm all, all over the show. There's too much, too many lights. Um, okay, just go for the grey shade. Uh, winter's grass. Um, how's everyone doing for health? Absolutely fine. The weakest one is myself. I 
say that, but uh, Greater Shade is a pretty powerful foe. So we want to watch ourselves with it. Who did any damage whatsoever? I say it's barely doing any damage, but uh, um. Doki, let's have a look here. And we do not want to close the door, we want to attack that dude there. You will love there we go. Jobs are good. Let's have a look around this room then, shall we? Very nice room actually. I know what's coming up in this next uh, in this room here so I'm going to prepare for that what I'm going to do is bring everyone back here and tell everyone to hold ground and Dalen's going to be the one to run up unlock the door and Lurgurt! I see. And then me and Morrigan. Let's come back here. It what? will be done. Right, and now everyone, go kick the mace. Devouring corpse. We'll go for the devouring because obviously sounds a bit tougher. You will not <laughs> devouring carts down. <laughs> I was to literally just cut its friggin' face off. In that way. Oh, there's one there, that's why. Oh and he got it. I could check. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, well done, guys. That was On it. a bit cleaner than usual for me. <laughs> And we need to level everyone up, so we'll start with Alistair. Um, I'll give you a plus in strength and some more in constitution. Um, next, uh, we'll go for combat tactics for you as well because face it there's some skills I want to actually use and you can't. Can we get some more temple Oh we can get temple talents. Let's see what this does first. <laughs> Cleanse area. The Templar purges the area of ma magic removing all dispellable effects from those nearby. Friend friendly fire possible. Hmm, so it's it seems like we can oh one second. Stop it. 
thank you. It seems like we can um, pretty much dispel any protective or uh, aggressive magic, which seems pretty cool, but it could be a hindrance. Um, so we might revert from Temple Dance for now. They will become useful later at some point, I assume, though. So we want. Hmm, what do we want? We could get assault, or we could get, uh, what's this? Shield balance. What does this help us do? The character has learned... So, with the shield guard, we'll no longer suffer attack penalties. That is useful. Or we could go for this. What is this? Uh, shield tactics. We'll go for this. Because he is a tank, so he wants to really stand his ground. So let's play. Um, tactics, let's have a look here. Uh, let's add one in. Being attacked by a type of attack. Being attacked by melee. We want to use the ability. Oh no, I'll tell you what. Would it be better if I got enemy clustered and then used taunt or... I think I might do that actually. That would make a little bit more enemy clustered. Clustered with at least two allies. And we will say... Use ability of taunt. So hopefully he'll run into groups and get their attention. Okay. Um, oh, Morrigan, of course. Uh, I'm trying to think of... I'm really not entirely sure what to do with Morrigan. Do I go damage or do I go control? Um, either way, I want to boost a willpower up because her willpower drains so quickly. Then we go next. Shape change. I don't really use them skills at all. Uh, so well, it seems all the skills are down here, so we'll, we'll probably go with what she's already started. Death Siphon would be very useful. Actually, that would be mega useful for her. Um, aff affliction hex. I'll tell you what, we'll go Death Siphon because <laughs> that'd be really useful for Morrigan. Um, right, we still select on Alistair for some reason. Morrigan. Okay. Um. What we'll do, we'll go self, mana or stamina level. We've got 50% so we can afford to actually cast it. And then um, activate mode of death siphon. There we go. So it's not active all the time, it's just active when she needs it. No, anyway, we need to play as Alistair really because we don't know what we're going to come up against. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly save it here and uh, join me again in the next part for some more Dragon Age Origins. And I'll see you then.